Hondo. Hondo. And how are you doing? Good. How are you doing, General Trius and Mighty Kevin? Great. Very well. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. So you're on a tour with your film. We are. That's right. Right now we're in uh, Los Angeles. We're getting ready for our Los Angeles premiere on Friday at the Sundance Cinema. Well, I'm here on the behalf of all of the media in the world to apologize for not giving you enough love for saving the Earth. Thank you. Uh, finally, finally, thank you. That's so nice of you. Uh, I can't tell you what that means to us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Kind of been waiting, so yeah. thanks. Yeah. This is kind of like the Skype parade we were kind of hoping for. Right? Yeah, we were hoping for some parades and, uh, you know, keys to cities, various things like that. So this is a good start. Well, we'll make it a Skype parade. All right. Good. So let me know if uh, this is too personal, but you know the film Earth Girls Are Easy? Sure, sure. Okay. I was just wondering if it wasn't perhaps a nefarious um, reason to actually save the Earth. If that's not the real reason, I, um, you know, I, I think that we're both we both are enamored with Earth women, um, but it was definitely music that that first started the course of us deciding not to destroy the planet. The pretty girls didn't hurt. Yeah, but can I say the title of that film wildly misleading? Yeah, the women of Earth are a complicated. They're beautiful, amazing, but they are complicated too. Yeah. There's nothing easy about them. Thank you so much for saying that. We've been trying to live that down ever since that previous alien invasion with Gina Davis. Yeah, and for the record, we don't know that guy. Yeah. We've never been to his solar system. No, not part of our... No, we don't want to be associated with that, with that kind of gender stereotype. Yeah, whether it's in this universe or the next, we're not stereotyping genders. Okay, well, that's really good to know. So tell me, what's the real reason then? There's music and then there's... Um, you know, the women, but yep. what's so great about mankind that you'd even want to save them? Well, that's a difficult question. I think that mankind is a flawed species. Yeah. Uh, there's no question. Um, but, you know, looking no further than our own species, the Hondonians, we see a lot of uh, lot of similarities in the complexities in terms of the dichotomy of, you know, good and bad. So I think that that sort of helped us see through to the good is that we're, that we're used to those kinds of, uh, you know, those kinds of turgid waters in terms of people's uh, people's moral compass. And isn't it that out of those very flaws that music was born, you know, for earthlings? It's that kind of uh, trouble and strife that, you know, breeds music. I think that's where it initially came from. Of course, there's the other side of it, music that's celebratory and fun and light, but, um, you know, that, that's all sort of part and parcel to the human experience that we've sort of fallen in love with, which I think music uh, as an entity really represents right plus we like uh, we like cable television if we uh, if we destroy the the earthlings uh, I'm pretty sure our cable TV signal would go dead can't get enough HBO so you know ah, so that's the third reason you like cable TV totally awesome so you would say then that this is an accurate statement you are musicians first and warriors second yes yeah, so now now we are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously on Hondo, we were both trained by the Hondonian military. Right. Uh, and of course, having no music on Hondo, uh, there was, music wasn't even an option for us to pursue. Right. Although, and that's an interesting question. I wonder if we had grown up with music on Hondo, if we would have chosen careers. Would we have military. been warriors in the first place? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, hard to say, but... I think it is safe to say we pulled the old switcheroo now. Yeah, totally. And then sometimes it gets a little confusing, like the, um, I believe it's the Pat Benatar, I Am a Warrior song, right. where those two worlds really, uh, really yeah. overlap. Um, but right now, we're, we're um, on Earth, we really want to focus on our, on our musicianship and music and not yeah. so much, uh, you know, uh, military tactical endeavors. Sometimes I pick up my laser gun and I'm strumming a few chords before I realize it's the laser gun, not yeah. a guitar. Yeah. And Put a couple of holes in the wall, but whatever, you know, it, it's still, uh, we're finding our way, you yeah. know, the music, and, uh, and I think putting it first. And drywall's cheap. Yeah, real cheap, so it's, you know, a couple laser shots, no biggie. So your mission has changed now, and do you think there's going to be a part two where you take music back to Hondo? Oh, yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, we've already, I mean, we're sort of living part two uh, yeah. uh, now, you know, living here on Earth, it's uh, just an extension of of what uh, you guys have seen in the movie. The question is, uh, you know, are we going to, to capture that on film? And we're certainly, we're certainly open to the, to the idea, but, uh, you know, we definitely feel like our story is still being written. Yeah, we're working with Hondonian government officials to uh, potentially become 
uh, musical ambassadors between Earth and Hondo. I mean, yeah. in, in an unofficial sense, I think that's what we already are, would you say? Sure, we're a combination of troubadours and ambassadors. We're troubadours. Yep, that's right. And we're working in our own government musical situation. Yeah, really, really top secret. So yeah. you know more than uh, more than anybody else. I'm glad this is a private conversation yeah. and that this whole thing is off the record. We are working with the U.S. government on a few things as well. Well, you can rest assured that the internet is totally private. Yeah, no, that's all. No, that sounds, yeah, totally good. Yeah. So. Well, okay, so tell me about um, working with the writer and director. How is that? Um, give me an example of how the real events were um, transformed by film into the movie. Well, you know, I, I, I think that, um, you know, uh, Jeremy Kip Walker and John Anderson Mitchell did a tremendous job of translating our real life happenings. Yeah. Uh, on it's very close to being a step by step. Yeah. You know, like they say, the, the movie is never the same as the book. In this case, I think, you know, if our real life experience had been a book, it is. You right. Know, it's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, and they definitely, uh, you know, they were able to capture that real life experience that we had traveling to Earth, deciding not to destroy it, finding love, saving Earth, and, and saving, of course, our home planet, Hondo. Uh, and it's no small task to condense that expansive narrative into a, into a tight hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and that's something that, they, uh, that I think they did really, really well. Yeah. Uh, you know, our, our, the events that you see uh, in the movie, of course, took place over, this, you know, over the course of a couple of weeks. Um, and it's very, uh, I think they did a nice job really condensing it down to that uh, short yeah. of. They were big fans of the band, you know, when we were sort of starting the clubs in Brooklyn, and they approached us about making the film, and yeah. they wanted to write the story and then turn it into a movie. Of right. course, we were very excited. Well, originally, yeah. Kevin, uh, you know, disarmed them in a, in a slightly aggressive uh, military way, but once we realized that they were, they didn't pose a yeah. threat and that they were really interested in telling our story, uh, we, um, you know, we revived them. And, and, and I thought they were hostiles, maybe spies from a, you know, I was still on edge from that last bounty hunter that showed up. Yeah. So I, I sort of went a little crazy when they showed up, but immediately it became clear that they were legit filmmakers, and, and we were we were thrilled yeah. to work with them. Yeah, very fortunate to, to to be able to collaborate with them. Of course. Wonderful. So, um, you know, this was filmed in New York, and I don't know how big Hondo is, but, you know, the Earth is pretty big, and so we have filmmakers in New York, we have them in Los Angeles, and we've got them in Austin, Texas, which is known as the indie film capital of the world. I don't know if you know that or not. But, so I was going to ask you, uh, do you think that if you had tried to make this movie anywhere else, it could have been made? That's a good question. I feel like there are uh, small pockets... Um, you know, small pockets around the world where people have the sort of the creative energy to to follow through on a project like that, like this. Austin is definitely one of those places. I feel like New York is one of those places. Perhaps LA. We just uh, we just flew in today, uh, so we're still getting to, to know our way around. Indeed. Um, you know, I feel like in some ways New York is a uh, a character in, in our movie. It's played such a such a large part. Um, but we have found that same sort of energy. Uh, that, that was able to sort of manifest this movie in New York, we have found it in places uh, like Austin where we did Fantastic Fest and met lots of really uh, great and nifty people. Yeah. And we feel, you know, it's inspiring to see Earthlings, like mm -hmm. you say, following through with that creative energy in the same way that they created music and sort of mm -hmm. gave that gift to us. Uh, we're excited to find places like New York and Austin where we can return the gift and, and uh, you know, give back a little. Yep. Well, let's talk about that gift a little bit. Um, what have you got coming up as far as a CD? Well, right now on iTunes, right now. Yes, yep. very well. That's correct. We have an album called Future Folk Volume 1. Uh, it's about, I think it's 12, 12 songs, the songs that you uh, hear in, in the movie, uh, plus a number of others, and it's available, uh, as the mighty Kevin said, on iTunes and Amazon and, uh, and, and all those places. Uh, we didn't uh, actually press physical CDs, um, because Kevin's allergic to certain kinds of plastic, really allergic, and it made it a little complicated. So we decided to keep things digital because neither of us have an allergy to ones or zeros. That's true, and everything happens on the internet now. Yeah, so it's just sort of privately, though. You know, yes. very privately. Yeah. You know, downloading any number of things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's great, you guys. I'm done. <laughs> I think we've got it. If there's anything else you'd like to do, 
Um, uh, yeah, you, should, we, should, should we do a quick song? We've got a song that's yes. uh, less than two minutes long. Yeah. Um, so just a quick backstory about this song. Uh, you know, one thing that um, that we learned uh, making this movie is that, that marketing is, is very important. We don't have a big marketing budget for this movie, and a lot of it is, is through word of mouth, uh, as, as you may know. Um, but one suggestion we got was that we needed a theme song for future folk as a way to sort of communicate uh, to people in a, in a, in a quick um, in a quick little blast who we are and what we were all about. Because uh, so as, as we learned, you should ABM always be marketing. That's right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So this is our theme song. Two. Wait. Let's start from one. I'll start. We'll count from one. You want to start with one? Let's start from zero. Zero. One. One, two, three, four. The old man said I might be wrong. The future folk needs a theme song that all the other people know. You're from a planet called Hondo. We said find it, grab a bed. Soon ran into a problem. We gave it all we had to give. This is all we came up with. Rock on, da 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 da. Rock on, da 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 da. Rock on, da 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 da. Ba da ba da. Ra ba da ba da ba da. Beautiful. Hondo. Hondo.